Good morning. They say record when you feel like recording and I just woke up and, and so I'm going to do a daily ish vlog. Uh, it's been like four months, so uh, I'm behind. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, my name's Cody. I have two Amazon stores, um, a Walmart store, eBay store, and then a, a small storefront here in rural Georgia where I also do my warehouse and um, we sell crap on the internet. And um, I'm going to do these daily ish vlogs. Dang it. I'm going to do them. I'm going to freaking do them. So today, what I feel inspired to talk about is um, leverage. I think that, I think that, I got sugar all over my hand. I, I think that there's a lot of people that are not, they don't fully understand how much money they're paying in, in like fees and finance charges. And like, God forbid, if you put a bunch of money on a credit card and then don't pay the minimum and you have to pay like, the interest month over month, you know, you get stuck with that kind of thing. Um, or you lose your account and you have all these loans. And so I'll tell you kind of my story. Um, obviously, anybody who knows, I've talked a lot about uh, having filed bankruptcy previously uh, a few years back. And gosh, it's been a while now. But more recently, we, you know, we were like, we're going to do cash only. And uh, I get anxious and like I have like uh, anxiety and like, some other stuff like that, you know, like, uh, I don't know if everybody deals with that, but I do. And, uh, and I think it's more normal than people, you know, uh, talk about, but, uh, I went from that to, I'm going to do $5,000 in leverage. I'm going to use $5,000 worth of credit cards. And then we said 10,000. And then at the peak, which would, would have been earlier this year, I think I was leveraging like 16,000 in credit cards. Plus, I had two loans with um, Paraffin and Walmart where they, you know, they're offering you money all the time. And so, like, because I run a group, you know, where I'm looking at leads every single day, it's like there's always stuff to buy. Like, there's always like a home run type of thing, you know. And so, like, it makes sense to take out as much cash as you can. But then my friends started dropping like freaking flies. Like, I see group chats I'm in. I see um, content that people are putting out. I see people in the Amazon Education Club that I run. Like, hey, I got a Section 3. They took all my funds. They took all my inventory. Hey, I got a IP complaint, blah, blah, blah. Um, hey, there was one toy that we were selling where people are just like, like they just lost 10 grand or more. I lost almost two grand on that deal where Amazon did an immediate refund without any outside of our control. And so there's so much risk and there's so much like, I don't know, it's on my mind to, oh, hold on. Let me go back to my story. Sorry. Uh, cut. Uh, I'm not cutting, uh, but cut at the peak. I had like an anxiety attack. It was late at night and I was like, you know, I got six freaking kids. And so, you know, scaling the business is amazing. You see the numbers, you see the, you know, the profit, you know, you run your numbers like I'm at xyz you know profit margin i'm gonna make money but then you see how much inventory you have on hand and also how much like money you owe people and like i just don't like to owe people that much and uh and so like i had a full out just anxiety panic you know event and then there were several smaller ones like that following and so like i've set a number and kind of drawn a line in the sand and uh you know uh my friend um kona uh i think she's kona content on instagram she's went completely cash 100 percent cash no credit in her business she's using credit cards I, I think she's using credit cards up to the amount of cash she has just to get the credit card points but then nothing else and um you know that's a, that's that's amazing like I, like i like the way that sounds the way that plays out is if she loses her Amazon account or some other crazy thing happens, she has one problem, not 15 problems where she has to pay credit card companies and, you know, float all this uh, leverage. And so those are things that are on my mind. I uh, I don't know what that translates to or like where, where I land with all that. Maybe I'll just be more of a man or something and be cool with, you know, high leverage at some point. But for now, for now, hello, Dylan Hart. For now, I am kind of a sissy baby and uh the the leverage stuff gets to me and it always has and it's not worth scaling 25 or 50 percent faster and feeling like that for me and so 
Uh, am I pulling back from, you know, uh, reselling? No, nothing like that. Uh, but I am pulling back from leverage and uh, I, I want to I wanna sleep real good. And, uh, you know, even, you know, maybe some other changes. But, but yeah, that's my daily-ish vlog. It's been six minutes. Thank you for listening. If anybody listened this far, which I, I don't know if anybody will, I should plug some. I should try to sell something here. Let's see. I don't know. Message me and I'll send you a free trial to the Adarbola group, Leads group. All right. I love you. Goodbye.